Welcome back to the Solutions Manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 1-12 from Arsley Hibaler Mechanics of Materials 8 edition. According to this problem, the sky hook is used to support the cable of a scaffold over the side of a building. If it consists of a smooth rod that connects the parapet of a wall at points A, B, and C, determine the normal force shear force and movement on the cross section at points D and E. Now to solve this problem, first of all we have to draw the free body diagram. At point A, I have a normal support from this wall onto this hook. At point C, I have a normal force from this wall onto the hook. And also we have a normal force on the point B from this wall. This right here is NB, this is NC, and this is NA. So now we can apply our equations of equilibrium. So my first equation of equilibrium would be summation of moments at point A equals to 0. I am considering counterclockwise direction as positive. Since the line of action of NA force is passing through the point A, so any force does not have any moment arm with respect to the point A. So any force will not produce any moment about point A. This 18 kN force is trying to rotate the hook in counterclockwise direction about point A. So the moment produced by this 18 kN force will be taken as positive. And the moment arm is this 0.3 meters distance. This NB force is trying to rotate the hook in counterclockwise direction about the point A. So the moment produced by this NB force will be taken as positive. So positive NB and the moment arm is this 0.2 meter distance. This NC force is trying to rotate the hook in clockwise direction about the point A. So the moment produced by this NC force will be taken as negative and the moment arm is this distance and if this is 0 0.3 then the moment arm is 0 0.3 minus 0 0.2 so which means 0 0.1 meters equals to 0. So upon simplifications, we have 5.4 plus 0 0.2 NB minus 0 0.1 NC equals to 0. Let's call this equation 1. Now in this equation, I have two unknowns and I have a single equation. So I have to form the another equation. So my second equation is summation of forces in y direction equals to 0. I am considering up direction as positive. So we have NB minus 18, this 18 kilo Newton force equals to 0. So NB comes out to be 18 kilo Newton. So if I substitute it back into the equation 1, then the equation 1 becomes Five point four plus zero point two into NB, which is eighteen kilonewtons, minus zero point one NC equals to zero. So from here, NC comes out to be ninety kilonewtons. Now we have to find the NA force. So for NA force, we can do Summation of forces in x direction equals to 0. I am considering right hand side as positive. So we have NC minus NA equals to 0. So from this equation, NA is equals to NC, which is equals to 90 kN. So far, we have calculated the support reactions. Now we can find the internal forces and the bending moment at the sections D and E. 
So if I make a section at the D and if I just consider this part of the hook and if I draw the free body diagram then it would look something like this. So it would look something like this. So let me draw the forces. So we have the NA force. We have this 18 kN force. And at the section D, we have a normal force and a shear force. And we also do have a bending moment, which I am assuming as counterclockwise. Let's label them. This right here is Na. This is 18 kN. This is the normal force Nd. This is the shear force Vd. And this is the pending moment. Let's just call this as M. Now we can apply our equations of equilibrium. So my first equation would be summation of moments at point D equals to 0. I'm considering counterclockwise direction as positive. And this is the point D. Since the line of action of ND and VD are passing through the point D, so these two forces do not have any moment arm with respect to the point D. So ND and VD will not produce any moment about point D. But we have to consider this internal bending moment M, which is counterclockwise. So we would take it as positive. This NA force is trying to rotate this part of the hook in clockwise direction about the point D. So the moment produced by this NA force will be taken as negative. So negative NA and the moment arm is this 0 0.3 meter distance. This 18 kN force is trying to rotate this part of the hook in counterclockwise direction about the point D. So the moment produced by this 18 kN force will be taken as positive. And the moment arm is 0 0.3 meter distance equals to 0. So M minus Na which is 90 kN into 0 0.3 plus 18 into 0 0.3 equals to 0. So upon simplification M comes out to be 21.6 kN meter. So this is our first answer. Now for the normal force, we can do summation of forces in y direction equals to 0. I am considering up direction as positive. So we have Nd minus 18 kN equals to 0. So from this equation, the normal force at the section D comes out to be 18 kN. So this is our second answer. And now for the shear force, we can do summation of forces in x direction equals to 0. I am considering right hand side as positive. So we have Vd minus Na equals to 0. So Vd is equals to Na and Na we have calculated as 90 kN. So this is our third answer. Now we have to do the same for the section E. So if I zoom out, now if I make a section at the point E and if I just draw this part of the hook, so the free body diagram of this part would look something like this. Let me zoom in. Yeah. So let us draw all the forces. 
So we have NC force at the section E. We have a normal force. We have a shear force, and we have a bending moment. And for the bending moment, I am going to consider it as counterclockwise. And since we already have used the letter M, so let's say this internal bending moment is M dash. And this is the point E. And this is the NC force, this is the normal force NE, and this is the shear force VE. So now we can apply our equations of equilibrium. My first equation is summation of moments at point E equals to zero. I am considering counterclockwise direction as positive. Since the line of action of VE and NE are passing through the point E, so these two forces do not have any moment arm with respect to the point E. So these two forces NE and VE will not produce any moment about point E. But we have an internal bending moment at the point E, which is counterclockwise, so we would take it as positive. So we have M dash. And this NC force is trying to rotate this part of the hook in counterclockwise direction about point E. So the moment produced by this NC force will be taken as positive. The positive NC and the moment arm is this 0 0.2 meter distance equals to 0. Now M dash is equals to negative NC. NC is 90 kilonewtons into 0 0.2. So from here M dash comes out to be negative 18 kilonewtons meter. Now why we are getting this negative answer? The negative means that the direction we had assumed earlier for the M dash is incorrect. Earlier we had considered M dash as a counterclockwise, but in fact it is clockwise in direction. So clockwise is the correct direction of the internal bending moment. For an E force, we can do summation of forces in y direction equals to zero. I'm considering up direction as positive. Since we have a single force, so N E is equals to zero. Now one more thing, this is our fourth answer. And this is our fifth answer. And now for the shear force VE, we can do summation of forces in x direction equals to zero. I'm considering right hand side as positive. So we have NC minus VE equals to zero. So VE is equals to NC, and NC we had calculated earlier as 90 kilonewtons. So VE is also 90 kilonewtons. So this is our sixth answer. So this is it for this problem. I hope you would find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any questions or any doubts in the free body diagram or in the equations of equilibrium, then feel free to ask in the comment section and I will answer it as soon as possible. Thank you.